Hi everybody, this is Vitorials. Welcome to this Adobe Illustrator infographic tutorial number 8. In previous tutorials we create a lot of infographics, raw cones, uh, pyramids, road infographics, stairs and other, but this tutorial is a little bit more advanced with a few additional steps, but I try to keep this as simple and as short as possible, so if you like it, subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends, give a thumb up uh, so my videos can uh, reach more people and help them as well. So let's get started our Adobe Illustrator tutorial with a new document, go to File New. I'm gonna size this document with 1920 and 1080, click Create. As always, I wanna turn off Align to Pixel Grid and increase the row size of my layers so everybody can see them easily. And uh, last, I want to grab all of my colors and throw it on my new artboard here. Maybe lock it on this layer and create a new one. On my new layer, I'm gonna grab Ellipse Tool. Uh, hit once on my artboard. In this uh, open dialog box, I'm gonna size it with 1250 pixels width and 200 pixels height and click OK to receive this um, very long ellipse and I wanna align it horizontally to the center and vertically to the center. Make sure that you align it to your artboard. Uh, then I want to give this uh, ellipse any fill color and set stock color to none here. Then I'm gonna create a horizontal line that is crossing my ellipse, align it vertically to the artboard tool, then select both of them, navigate to my shape builder tool. With my shape builder tool I'm gonna slice one bottom half of my ellipse and delete it with a few additional unnecessary stuff and we are gonna work with this half I'm gonna grab it with selection tool and drag it to my symbols panel if you can find your symbols panel go to the windows symbols and here on my symbols panel I'm gonna change the export type to graphic click OK to apply the changes, now we have our symbol and we can simply take backspace to delete this half. Let's grab our polygon tool. By default we have our hexagon, but we need to 1, 2, 3 times click uh, down arrow key to create a triangle. Hold shift to put this triangle right on this straight line. And then I want to align it horizontally and vertically to the center. I, I need to achieve straight uh, triangle and for doing this grab your uh, direct selection tool. Select the top and rightmost uh, corner. They are filled and this left is hollow. And then align them to the left but to align to the selection. Choose this option to achieve this triangle and then we need to size it properly. To size it properly I need to navigate to my transform panel here. On my transform panel I'm gonna size it with 310 pixel width and uh, 700 pixels height. Give it completely different color, something like that and navigate to my 3D uh, effects, go to effect, 3D, revolve. Here we need to choose offset from right edge, here. From uh, surface we need to choose diffuse shading, navigate to map art. From drop down menu choose your symbol, click invisible geometry, to see better what you are doing, then put your symbol on the bottom and increase the height of your symbol. Then drag it in the middle and decrease the left 
side just a little bit. So as you can see, my um, symbol is just crossing the middle of this uh, cone. And let me scale you a little bit. The height of our symbol shouldn't uh, exceed the one row of our grid. Click OK and click OK here. Now that we have this uh, symbol and I want to Alt click to make a duplicate. Then navigate to my appearance panel. If you can find your appearance panel go to the Windows appearance. And here I want to change the uh, find the 3D revolve. And I'm gonna change some properties. First of all, I want to change my XYZ value. I wanna set the X value to 15 degrees. Then I'm gonna set my Y value to 147 degrees. And I wanna leave a Z value to these 8 uh, degrees. Uh, click OK and uh, now we need to create some copies first of all keep selected this uh, second mapped object and navigate to your scale tool double click on it set the uniform 90 degrees value and click copy then repeat this operation uh, twice to achieve one, two, three, three copies and delete your original file. Let me expand my last panel. This is my original file. I want to delete it. And I want to do the same with uh, this, with my original file. Choose uniform 90%, click OK to make duplicates and Ctrl D to make another duplicate and this enough. We do not need to we do not need to delete anything. Uh, so we have uh, three mapped objects here and three mapped objects here and I'm gonna select all of them. Go to my object expand appearance to expand appearance. Then I'm gonna ungroup ungroup again and release clipping mask select all objects around them and delete them now that we have deleted all unnecessary stuff and we can uh, work primarily with these objects i want to select the back side of my objects and set fill color to very dark and now we have uh, some kind of three-dimensional shapes and I'm gonna give uh, these shapes their own color so I'm gonna select this then I'm gonna select so we recolored all we recolor all of our objects and we need to combine it on one shape to do so, we need to place this object like this and uh, select both of them. Ctrl Shift left bracket to place it on back. Then grab this object and place it like so. Ctrl Shift left bracket to place it like so. Then uh, deselect Z, grab your uh, forward panel and with a control right bracket place it a little bit uh, to the front and then place this uh, to the front as well then I'm gonna grab this orange stuff and uh, with uh, Ctrl left bracket place it to, to the back like so 
then I'm gonna place this. First of all, this. With control left bracket, I wanna set it backward. Now that we have our shape, and we're ready to add uh, another triangle. So go to Polygon tool, click OK, create a triangle, uh, set it to this uh, purple color, and uh, move it to the back with the uh, Ctrl left uh, bracket. And we have the shape. Need to uh, select all of these shapes forward shapes of uh, our mapped object and click Ctrl Shift G to ungroup all of them. Now I want to make a duplicate of them one by one. Ctrl C, Ctrl C, Ctrl F, Ctrl C, Ctrl F, Ctrl C, Ctrl F, Ctrl -C, Ctrl -F and Ctrl C, Ctrl F. Use Command C, Command F if you're working on lock and I want to select all of them uh, all of these duplicates is sitting in front uh, go to gradient and give them a default gradient give them default gradient double click on your uh, stop color and uh, here I want to decrease the increase the brightness and set it to 30% uh, gray. Then I want to navigate to my transparency panel. If you can find your transparency panel, go to the Windows transparency. And here I want to set, let me select them again. I want to set them to the blending box, uh, blending mode to multiply. And the same with this. And I want to align all of these gradients. For this triangle we use another approach. First of all make a duplicate. Set this duplicate uh, to this uh, white to gray gradient. Then uh, move this gray stop color to the center. And duplicate the white stop color and move it to the side. Last we need to create this uh, uh, highlights on our sides and for doing that we need to make a duplicate of this uh, shape that is sitting in front this uh, then go to your scissors tool and slice the bottom bottom point and the topmost point from the shape and delete this path and this path and then we have this shape we need to click this button swap fill and stroke to create a new stroke set the blending mode to soft light increase holding alt or option key increase one side of this stroke and decrease the stroke here as you can see with this tool I want to set this to zero and you can see as you can see here with uh, one point here I want to hold in alt key uh, increase the stroke here and lastly I want to navigate to my uh, bottom point and hold in alt key delete the stroke from left side and leave it only on right side so we have the shape, we have this uh, gradient and we can leave it actually with that gradient and do not even outline our stock. Now I want to speed up a little bit my tutorial and create another uh, highlights uh, for another parts of my uh, infographic
So we almost ended our tutorial. The last step is to uh, create a duplicate of this uh, shape of this triangle and set it to soft light, pop fill and stroke, and uh, set the stroke to the inside, align stroke to inside, and increase the stroke size. So this is basically uh, how you can create this kind of infographic in Adobe Illustrator. If you like this tutorial, please do not hesitate to thumb up, subscribe and share it with your friends. Thank you for following to the end and have a nice day.